and welcome back everyone to the channel where we are back here on the hunter and we are in season number seven week number two of our competitions last week was the gray wolf and we did come out with a beautiful diamond gray wolf out of that deal now we are back here in the land down under once again and down here in australia so we are looking for this week the fallow deer in this map only we can't use any other map we got to use this map and i do not grind for great ones so i do not have any setups for that so it's going to be all natural normal along with looking on some multiplayer maps but uh wow it's starting to rain here in australia that's uh haven't happened i don't really remember it happened to me very often and here it is whenever i'm trying to get this started but we can get in the top three one more time as we made second place last week so we can do that award and get in, in the top three of these guys and hopefully we do we got lots of trophies to look for there's lots of species uh, it's a pretty trolly map but sometimes we luck out so we'll see how that goes for us hopefully it'll be pretty good the other two awards we can go for are the sniper award which is for the farthest single shot taken with our solican i forgot to mention we are with the solican as you saw in the the previous part there but we are using our solican which is really nice because now it was for a long time when you shot it would it would it would drop the ads it would come out of this uh, aiming down sight there and now it stays and you keep shooting so that's nice to be able to give it a try it's one of my favorite guns i love this thing it is awesome we also have the uh two new dlc weapons on us i got the 44 lever and i've got the uh recurve bow there so with the sight on it so let's see yeah we slapped a sight on her here so that's pretty interesting and cool looking forward to that that's going to be awesome for uh, crocodiles and stuff it's super lightweight so this is lighter than the other traditional bows by half and then you can add the sight which makes it the same as the other bow so now you get those other bows with a sight yeah but interesting it didn't take traditional arrows it took the regular like compound bow arrows so that kind of threw me off there so that's fine though but uh pretty interesting nonetheless but anyway we can get the jackalope award as well two more times so that's for the smallest male uh fallow deer so we'll be looking for some babies as usual and trophies of anything to try to put in the lodge this weekend let's see what happens i'm pretty excited after getting out of the snow we're down here in australia the next week so let's see how that works out for us thank you all for being here i hope you enjoy the video oh, let's get to it all right well we got a jackalope contender here this guy could get below the lowest i uh, just i just checked it the lowest was like 74 or something i think so this guy's got a chance so anyway it'll get us a shot off here been a minute since we've taken anything with this should be nice and sunk in the lung there we go he is down what else we got over there got some axes working their way in all right let's go check him all right let's see here Boy, he's pretty small. Uh, I'm sure it's 74. Oh, he's a 90. Not going to get us there, but look how small that is already. We've got to get way smaller than that. Man, he looks like he's got tire tracks going down his back. <laughs> I never noticed that. Anyway, not going to do it with this guy. Ugh, 110 to 126. Spook that guy right out of here. we got to get his own. Well, he's calming down now. Wind's good. Maybe he'll come back. He's likely to go over there. <laughs> That's happened to me before. But... Oh, there he is. What a big old hog deer. That's awesome. But he's not coming back. He's going to go over that hill and hang out over there, probably. Well, hopefully he drinks at this, or we'll go back over to where we... Uh, spotted his feed zone I think it was maybe rest I don't remember now but we do have our solican for him Oh, 
I don't know. Is he working his way back over here? He is. Oh, he's gonna rest right there. <gasps> yes. 250 there. That's a take a hundred off, so we could go around the lake here. And come up on him. Actually, we'll go over here. You guys will get spooked out. Because this guy is my focus right now. And not you all. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, well there they go. We are closing in. We got a Russo over there with him. That's the Russo there. And then he's right there. And we are right in our range. Perfectly for the weapon that we have, which is the Solikin. We have that for the Fallow. And that is the perfect weapon for that level 3 hog deer. But just look at those horns on that guy. Guaranteed diamond hog deer right there what a what a rarity how special is that well let's do what we can to uh, not mess this up and put him into the lodge and have our first trophy of the weekend well that didn't take long <laughs> let's go check him out here we go, as long as we got that vital, not just some silly spine shot. When they're laying down, I really get a little bit nervous to uh, take them. But look how thick that rack is on that hog deer. That is fantastic. Here we go. And diamond a 114.82. That guy is 110.23 pounds. And their max weight is 110.23 pounds. <laughs> Max weight hog deer, holy cow. Guaranteed diamond max weight, wow. They've got to be 108.68. This guy's a 114.82. Being max weight, I'm gonna say that's pretty big. I don't know what their max score is, have no idea. But, wow. Look at the mass on that guy. With the Solikin right there. Catching them double lung, 166.3 yards, perfect. Look at the mass on that guy. What a beaut. What a beaut. Guaranteed diamond. Very nice. Got a contender there. Yeah, we don't know what else we've missed. <laughs> Let's go check him out. A little potential jackalope here. Again, I think that guy was in the 40s. Uh, that looks too big. Oh yeah, he's, over, he's bigger than our other one. Oh well. Well, as usual, if you come here at Banting Drink Time, look at that guy. Come right through these crocs. And they've done spooked him coming right to us. And that guy's guaranteed diamond level 4. <laughs> they've got to be 137. He's a 139. They're sending them right to us. Oh, and we got these guys first. Oh, oh he's not going to come over to us now. Oh, well, yeah, he is. Come here, buddy. We'll take you. <laughs> no blood mark. Why is this not a thing? sure about why that first one didn't do anything to it. The last one was dropping them. I should get into some vitals. Yeah. One thing you can drive those arrows up in there. Now let's go ahead and check this guy. What in the world? Oh, did we neck him? Oh, okay. But he is a diamond still. The first one was a flesh. <laughs> Oops. Well, these guys are almost too common anyway, but it's still fun to chase them down with the bow, especially when they come running by you like this. That's that's a, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we just let him just too early. Almost had that heart. Woo, just let him too much. But that last one works. See, you can hit him from the back and you can rip. Ripped it up. Took out uh, three or two of the vitals anyway. Got his liver and his off lung. 
and that worked just fine. But a 142.53 diamond, that is a uh, fairly big boy right there at 16.96 on the weight. So pretty cool. Well, we've got a look at this guy. He looks so big over there next to all these others. The Sambar, level four, 156 to 184. Sambar got to be 166. So it's very good chance he's not going to make it, but very high estimate. So what I think we're going to do is give our new 44 lever a little exercise here. Give it its opportunity at its first diamond itself. So we will, I think we're just gonna go for this. I think we're just gonna go for that. All right, here we go. I don't know how that missed a heart, but it did. <laughs> Must have caught a little bit of the front lung. That's all right, but let's see here we go mr. sandbar yep that don't look big enough probably no 159.61 got to be 166 good ways off just a level four though but got to test out our how oh, shot right above the heart right above it look at that can't get any closer than that anyway off lung moving on is that a, and that looks like a Mela. Oh man, look at that. Ooh, hey, hello. Haha, <laughs> wind's good too. 210 to 252. And they're two, what is it, 49.99 now? So, this guy's about as trolly as they come, but he is a max level and he does have to go, but. What caught my eye was this. That looks like a Mela female. It's got a little bit of that brown to the head. I haven't, again, I haven't hunted them since they've changed all their colors very much. I just don't grind that much, but. Hmm. Ah, there we go. There we go. Got somebody right under us here. I oh, didn't even look over here to the corner to check to see what was there. Oh, he's attentive. Oh, man. We... He's not going to like us sitting there. Well, we'll take that. Where's our Mella girl? Oh, hidden. She's hidden behind that tree. Yeah. Oh, well. That's all right. Just a female. We were going for this guy. We got what we came for. Did we get lucky? I don't know. Oh no. Troll. There he is. Had to happen. He's not near wide enough in those battles, so I've got no palmation there. We need more. But we did find a level five at least this weekend, so that was nice. And got a little excited, but what's it gonna happen? There's his heart and off long sunk that one in there a lot better than we did earlier oh hey buddy a pretty good five they gotta be 249 he's 220 261 and that guy stands out as a uh, very much a good chance of making diamond here the winds a little poor we could definitely close the distance here Knock off a hundred yards at least before he'll notice us running or smell us. We'll get up there and check it out. Oh, this is perfect. I'm not going to waste any time. 220 to 261. Let's go ahead and get him before he moves off. That guy should, should make it by a little. That should be money. Heck yeah, there it is. Go check it out and see if we made it. Did we get a diamond out of it? What a great fall. Look at that. The antlers are staying above dirt. That's interesting. Can't say I've been paying much attention to that, but 
Is that a thing now, maybe? <laughs> maybe I missed that for a while. All right, let's see here. And diamond, 255.48. A level five medium, 214.81 on the weight. Max weight is 220, pretty good size fella right there. His 255, they had to be 249.9, and we got him with our Solican, which is now continuing to aim down sights after shooting, which is awesome, because I love this gun, especially for uh, class three animals. But uh, our Solican, 160 yards, bam, right there in the lung, put him down very quickly. And we accomplished the mission. We got our diamond for the weekend comp. Oh, I am pretty excited right here. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> for wind, I guess. Got a rare. We haven't seen a rare for a, a bit on the competition series, if, I, if I'm correct. And these uh, new piebald fallow are just awesome they're so good looking and he is only a level three that's okay but he's still a pie ball and he is a rare and we want him so i guess he's just gonna all right well we'll make him go alert and get him to turn on us again maybe that was my shot oh well That'll do it. <laughs> Nothing was working with that wind. All right, here we go. All right, here he is. Gorgeous. A little silver, 156, but a rare nonetheless. Going into the lodge, he goes right alongside, like I said, with the uh, diamond now. So that's awesome. Man, they look so much cooler. I love the rich, deep colors to them. That is. And that really makes that white pop. That is gorgeous. Poor guy never had a chance if you're if you look like that in the wild. <laughs> Everything's gonna see you. Alright, it's about it renders out about 456. Alright, there we go. Now the current sniper award is sitting at 456.5. So we'll see we can luck out and get a little more yardage. Check our wind. All right, here we go. Definitely hit him. Oh, he's dropping, so that should be a vital. And it'll be stuck there because he's out of render. Well, let's go see if we got a little further. All right, here we go, and again, we got to be 456.5, let's see, 458.47, vital right there, left lung, 458.47, that is basically two yards, Ooh, that is inching it out up there, just try, I went back and forth on render with him probably five or six times before I knew exactly where to hold him. And we got the most out of it for sure. So we're going to look at sitting on the sniper leaderboard just past halfway through the weekend with a 458.46. Now, if I know Kiowa, he's going to, if I post this, he's going to be jumping all over it. And he will be definitely trying to extend it and knock me back off. So we'll see how this works out for us. But 458.46, not too bad for the old Solican. And our looks like we caught that lung just right, almost too far back. And if I remember, I'd aimed a little forward. I don't know if the something's changed about the wind or what, but with the recurve bow, the new one, I was out at the range messing with it, and the wind was really affecting the arrow. I feel like something changed, but maybe it maybe it did at long range shots too. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't got a good enough feel for it yet, but we'll see. Anyway, we will get this guy's screenshot and move along. All right, everyone, that concludes Season 7, Week 2 here on the channel of the competition series for the Hunter Call of the Wild. And we were out in Australia looking for the fallow deer specific map only. And we came away with some really nice trophies. Now, as far as the top three, our diamond did not quite make it. He's a beautiful diamond up there, but he did not make it into the top three. And that's fine. We've already qualified in the top three. We want to go for first if we're going to... Um, 
be up in those top three, so that worked out good. There was a handful of diamonds found, so that's pretty sweet. I'm glad everybody was able to do that. But um, our, <laughs> our long distance, our sniper award, was taken away from us by the person we took it away from, Mr. Kilo Lama. And he came in at the last minute and knocked us back out of that and uh, overtook us for his Sniper Award again. So we can still do that two more times this season along with the Jackalope Award. So we got those and plus the top three. So we can still do that. Got a, quite a few weeks left yet in this season to get that done. But, uh, you yeah, know, Kilo, our little arch nemesis now. He uh, took us out of that again, which was fun. I love the back and forth with that and uh, trying to knock him off. I knew as soon as I did it and I posted it, he still had 24 hours. I knew it was gonna. I knew he was gonna find a spot to get a little bit more distance. So congratulations! To you. And as far as our other trophies we got, we did find a beautiful pie ball, nice small male, but we did get a pie ball out of it. So happy to have. We haven't had a a rare in quite a while and then we were able to mess around with the banting out there on the beach got a chance to run some crocodiles which spooked another banting we got a we were able to uh, work in that uh, new bow so it worked out just fine for us now my highlight was this guy this max weight hog deer look at this guy I wished I had a, a stand to put him on full body to get a look but look how good he looks those little guys don't look, I mean, they don't look real impressive until you get a big old diamond, and that is a big, thick mass. It looks great up there. Really happy with that. But that was a max weight diamond hog deer right there. So, and he was guaranteed diamond on his estimate, which, if you know anything about Australia, that's a rarity in itself, just to get a diamond, let alone see one that's guaranteed to be diamond. So I'm super happy with that. What a great trophy. What an all great additions to the lodge. Found a nice little spot here in the corner where they could all line up together. So we'll be headed into week number three next week. Looking forward to seeing where we go and what that species is gonna be. I appreciate y'all being here. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified, shoot the like button, help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on our next video. Until then.